So, that was fast, that was a fast update, I mean, I was doing some stuff and then I checked and this thing popped out. So, the real bot old game is, is being updated, as you guys can see, we got images, we got pricing, we got release dates. So, before we look at the pictures, let's check it out. Uh, the release date, as you guys can see here, July of next year, 2024. The pricing 33,000. How much? Okay, 33,000 yen. 232 US dollars. Are you kidding me? 232. This is according to Yahoo Finance, by the way. Wow, that's really expensive. Has ABS, ABT. ATBC, PVC, diecast, POM stands at 109 millimeters, which is 7.4 inches tall, so almost the same size as a master grade. That's pretty tall. So let's see what else we have here. There is a and there is a bonus from the Sentinel store, as you can see here, the spiral flow flicker, not border. Okay. So we'll take a look at that soon. And the orders via Sentinel store start on the 24th of July, 2023 at 11 Japan Standard Time. And they last until the 25th of September, 2023 at, you know, 23.59 Japan Standard Time. Total height with the LAM booster light attached, 230 millimeters, okay. So it's actually gonna be a little bit taller. So 230 millimeters. Let's see how much is that. 230 mm. Oh, so with the booster, it's gonna be around nine inches tall. Okay, that makes sense. So this is what it looks like. Gotta say, it's pretty good. Um, the white and the blacks look pretty nice. It does have opening hatches. That's pretty darn cool. And you know, I, I thought this brownish copper color, I didn't like it, but I actually do. Looks pretty nice there. Oh, check the shield out. You can load it up with stuff. That's awesome. Got the cable here. <laughs> Coming from the crutch. Hiring the cannon here. Sick. I like it. I like the design. It looks very um, slick. <laughs> it's nice, even from the back. Yeah. Here it is with the open hatches. You can see the pistons there. Looking good. Man, and I like how um, the copper color is even inside the joints that's so nice because you know the joints are gonna be die cast as well inside so that's one that's gonna make it very sturdy yeah, here with the backpack looks cool and just the detailing here this detailing with the piping and tubing that looks so good oh and I like this uh, I like this design that they did for the feet because that's going to help him stand up pretty well. Okay, so this is uh, the flow. In basically the bike. So you can have it with the pilot or without the pilot. But you can also have it with the pilot with this part closed there. And you can see it goes into the neck right there. Pretty cool. You can see the articulation here for the elbow joint, the wrist, and it looks like you have a weapon being saved from the looks of it that is going to come out of the forearm, under the forearm. That's cool. The opening hatches here. That looks badass. That's very badass. Mm, good knee articulation, honestly. Being like this great here's the saver shield I like the design of this shield mm, comes with another 
saber so you can go Darth Maul with him. That's cool. Yeah, this is looking pretty awesome. Pretty darn cool. I say, check it out here with the cannons on the freaking shield. That looks so nice. Man, and that cover, that cover color, when the light hits it, looks great. Get out there with the full cannon on. This is what is gonna make it, you know, this basically the nine inches long there. Cool. Darn. Looks awesome. Check out all the wiring that it has. That's so, that's so nice. That's such a nice touch. Having the wires, you know, attached here and attached here. Pretty cool. I like how it's holding it too. Here you can see everything you're gonna be getting. Of course, you're gonna get these cannons here. Big gun. You can see the cables. I like this that. The cannon comes with his own three set of cables and the other cannons come with their own set of cables. That's awesome. You get three blades here so you can have the blades single or double. I wish it would have come with one more blade. That way you don't have to, you know, if you wanted to, you can display with these two blades. Maybe one of them coming out of the forearm, ignite it while he's holding one. Of them and holding the dual one the other hand that would be pretty cool you can see that you have some um, swappable parts here and man this looks great then of course this is uh, the Sentinel exclusive here's the backpack pretty darn cool pretty darn cool they, they did an awesome job with this thing Wow so yeah so that's pretty cool. That is a 7.4 inch tall figure. I like that so. I know some of you probably are gonna like it. Some might not, but hey, in my opinion, it's really awesome. So, you know what? Sentinel has done a good job here, honestly. They, they did a good job. So, man, like, like I said, if you want a bigger one, or something a little bit more extreme, you're gonna have to wait, you know, for Sky Studio, Carbotics, uh, CCS Toys. You know, you, you're gonna have to wait for those companies, maybe Metal Build, you know, Chungoki, for them to make their version. But I think if you go with this one, it, and it's a standard release, so the only thing exclusive is the bike. Uh, I think if you go with this one, you, you cannot go wrong, honestly. Yeah, I still think this is gonna be pretty awesome. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time.